What's up gorgeous? My name is Akila, and if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this look and I'm going to, I think I'm going to call this like a cranberry uh, burgundy holiday glam look. <laughs> and um, yeah like get into it I, I feel like this look is perfect for like holiday parties family get-togethers so if you want to see how i created this look please keep on watching okay guys let's get started for the most part my brows are done now i'm going to prime um for primer i'm going to use the cover effects blurring primer and I'm going to put those in the places where my pores are the biggest, like around my nose, my chin, my forehead. And to like help with my darkness, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 46. That color is really close to my skin tone. And I'm just going to put it in places where I have hyperpigmentation. I'm going to use the M Morphe M39 brush to buff it all out. That helps to like just even me out a little bit before I put on foundation. For this look, I want to be glowy. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Liquid Glow in the color Peach Fizz. For this, I just put it on like the high points of my face mostly just my cheeks see how reflective that is it's so pretty it's like my favorite liquid highlighter like it doesn't get like hard and patchy and sticks to your face in a weird way now that i'm all glowy we could jump into foundation i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me like this is like my go-to foundation if i just want to put on a foundation that i know is going to work for me I'm just going to use this. Today we're going to be trying the Velvet Sponge by June & Co. I've never tried it before so today will be my first time. It's weird. It feels different. It feels very different. For this sponge you more so want to like do sweeping motions compared to like when you use a beauty blender you want to pounce. This one you drag. So far what I do notice is that it's not sucking in a lot of the foundation so i feel like there's just a lot of it sitting on my face right now which could be a good thing that means you're not going to use as much foundation but i shouldn't have took up so much on one go and the sponge is wet if you guys are wondering i did with the sponge so far i like it i don't feel like it sucked up a lot of the product i do like the application but Maybe I have to use it a little bit more because I feel like using a regular sponge works faster. I guess because you don't really have to blend as much. Because the traditional beauty blender sucks up all the excess product that you don't need. But with this one, you, you got to keep blending until it's all worked in. I would say I didn't use as much product that I normally would. So that's a good thing as well. Okay, now that I'm done with foundation, we're going to move on to highlighting and contouring. I'm going to use the same concealer by ColourPop in Dark 46 under my eye. And then I'm going to use Medium Dark 36 and put that closer to like underneath my chin, cupid's bow, my nose, and then my forehead. Like, I'm thinking if I should use a sponge, but like, I'm going to use it on everywhere besides under my eyes because I do not want to mess anything up. Okay, th that blended pretty fast. That looks good. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. Okay, I want my sponge. I want my sponge back. Well, have you guys tried the velvet sponge yet? Like, let me know down below. And I want to know your thoughts about it if you have tried it. I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes before it gets creasy. And I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which is my new favorite powder. Like, I used to love Sasha Buttercup, but then I started to notice, like, in pictures, like, under my eyes looks yellow. Like, too yellow. So this 
powder just looks a lot more better for me. I don't bake, so I'm going to go ahead and buff out this powder. And then I'm going to buff the excess powder into the rest of my face. For contouring, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Sticks in the color Deep Dark 197. And I like to blend my contour out with a brush. Whatever's on the brush, like I'll take to my chin and my jawline. For my nose, I use this buffing brush from BH Cosmetics. It's like a dome, very dense brush. I think I'm going to do like a brush breakdown video for you guys because I know sometimes like especially when you start now doing makeup like you have all these brushes but you don't know what to do with them. If you guys would like to see that give this video a thumbs up so I would know to do it. I'm all contoured. No, I got to set the contour. To set the contour I use the True Complexion Contour Palette by black radiance and I use the color scope I just take the brush and like go over my cream contour and the same for my nose now with my face done I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes and of course the palette I chose to use today is soft glam this is my favorite palette I'm gonna do a whole video of like all my favorites of the year but this is definitely a favorite of mine and this palette also has a lot of maroony maroony cranberry shades of course I'm gonna start off with my morphe m504 brush which is this fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put down the color sienna Okay, I think that looks good so far. Um, should I put it on my lower lash line? Yeah, I'm going to put it on my lower lash line as well. I'm going to use the Morphe M321 brush and I'm going to take Sienna on my lower lash line. Okay, now to deepen my crease, I'm going to use Mulberry. The shade right here. I'm going to use this blending brush by Alamar Cosmetics and this is a little slimmer and less fluffy than the Morphe brush. And I'm also like tap it onto my outer V and like not only am I going in my crease like I'm going a little above my crease as well because I have the eye type that when I open my eyes like the crease swallows just everything that I put down there so you won't be able to see it so I'm gonna go above my crease I'm also gonna take that color on my bottom lash line as well using the same Morphe M321 brush and I'm just gonna use this color towards the end Okay, now I'm going to use the color Sultry. Sultry is a very pretty burgundy color. I'm going to use my finger to apply the shade because with these glitters, they just apply way better with your fingers and you have a lot more control. So I'm going to add that to the center of my eyelid and go towards the inner corner. And I'm going to do the same for the next eye. I'm going to use the blending brush I used at first to like blend everything together. I don't want any harsh lines. And I'm going to put sultry on my lower lash line as well. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to use this rose pink color. Yeah, that looks pretty. What else do I want to do? It's like, do I want to struggle with eyeliner like do I really want to do that to myself right now oh okay yeah I decided that I'm gonna struggle with some eyeliner so I don't know if it's gonna be in this video yeah I probably won't I'm gonna use the um 
I'm gonna use this M Cosmetics liquid eyeliner pen. That makes it a little bit easier for me. So let's give it a try. Oh, I didn't even breathe that whole time. Okay, let's, um, it's looking good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect it. Okay, that's looking like it's going pretty successful. Um, okay, yeah. I think I could close this one off. Okay, guys, I fucking did it. When I get this shit down pack, I, I got y'all with a video because I swear this has been a struggle and a half for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in Miami. Okay, lashes are on. Can you see why these are my favorite lash? They're like when I first saw them, I thought they were so huge, but when I put them on, it's just like perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to blush. For blush, I'm going to use this blush that I got from Shop Miss A. It's by a brand called Malibu Glitz, and it's in the color Enchant. Enchanted Orchid. <laughs> Here's the color. Okay, now we're going to do highlighter. Since this is already on my desk, we're going to use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in, in Hustler Baby. I think I have on enough highlighter. We're gonna, what now, what now, what now? I was supposed to spray my face first, but I forgot. I'm using the Morphe Setting Mist. I think I'm gonna hit it again. Yeah, like, this mist is so light, like you don't feel it hitting your face until like your face is like sucking wet. Like I was, really really fighting with myself not to do a nude lip because like all i do is nude lips but today i'm going to do a burgundy lip to go with the whole cranberry cranberry burgundy trend i'm going to use an oldie but goodie max night moth i remember back in the days like time the infamous loved this lip liner and like i wasn't even wearing color like that but I spent $20 on a freaking lip liner just because time did it and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips I'm definitely gonna have to clean this up with some concealer before I go in with my lip color because this is looking crazy kind of I'm gonna use my concealer the Colourpop concealer on a flat brush and try to fix my boo-boos. I'm gonna fix right here. And I'm gonna do the other side, just so it could be even. This is as good as it's going to get. So I'm just gonna move along and I'm not gonna obsess with it. I got this sample of one of the Fenty Beauty lipsticks and this is in the color Griselda. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay guys, like this is my final look. I, was I even looking in the camera? But yes, I really like this look. I feel like, I don't know. Like I feel like I'm going on a date or something. So yeah guys, this wraps up my video. If you like the look that I created today, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.